Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm going to continue answering your questions and addressing your topics because I stick with things until they're finished, unless I get bored or decide that I no longer feel like taking part. Anyway, let's get into these. I'll forge ahead from Hadata. Nick Tucker, er, er, with like five R's. What's your favorite Pokemon? Um, I think I've answered this. I think I've said Charizard if I live in the Pokemon world, but if I live in the real world and Pokemon just come here, then I'd want to have Onyx or uh, the Steel one, Steelix, because those things are gigantic and you could rob banks with them. You could do you could do anything. The sky's the limit, you know, because those things can reach into the sky, which I never really understood because it always said in the little Pokedex thing that it was like 20 feet long, and then in the show it would be like the size of a you know, giant train, like 50 like meters long and just gigantic, and it was silliness. But I, I enjoyed that more. It was more fun to imagine Pikachu getting pwned by a huge rock snake than by the little one that was in the Pokedex, because that's, uh, that's what life's about when you think about it. Anywho, Dax Rags, what are your standards for gameplays up on your channel? Uh, if you follow my channel, you know that I really don't have any standards for gameplays. Uh, I, can't, I don't know a single person who has subscribed to me. I know there are some out there, but nobody has subscribed to me for gameplay. It's just a simple fact of the matter. Nobody ever is like, hey, you should go over to this guy Mercadirka's channel because his gameplay is just top-notch. Like, nobody says that. You know, they'll say, I'll go listen to this guy ramble about inane bullshit for a while to stave off the cold hand of boredom. But, uh, yeah, I really don't have any standards. Uh, if I ever get, like, good zombie games or if I get a cool clip or something, I'll upload that, but I'm never... Uh, or not never, I'm rarely out actively pursuing trying to get really awesome gameplay because it really doesn't matter that much, you know? Uh, what I talk about is going to get about the same number of views whether or not it's over some random-ass zombie gameplay or if it's over, you know, 101, you know, knifing-only gameplay, which actually that would be pretty remarkable, but still, you get my point. Alex and Dre, JP, self-harm. Um, I've never engaged in self-harm before, so I don't really know too much about it, but I know that it's not a good thing, and if you find yourself doing it, you should really seek counseling or therapy, or maybe that's, you know, synonymous, but, uh, yeah, if you are struggling with that, or if you're just curious to hear people talk about it, then, uh, definitely go tell your parents or tell someone about it, uh, because I, I, it's, I'm led to believe, uh, that, or led to understand, rather, that it's, the root cause for it is that people want to feel like they're in control of something in their life, and they're obviously in control of pain and control of doing that to themselves, uh, and it's an attempt to try and gain some semblance of control, but it really doesn't help you gain control when you think about it. It's the same way that, uh, you know, I'm sure, yeah, you get some semblance of control from Alcoholics Anonymous, but you're really not beating the problem if you're just allowing that to still dominate your life, you know? if you, It's like that South Park episode, where it's not real control if you just let something dominate your life. Uh, maybe that's not a maybe that's a really bad equivocation, but I, as I've said, I don't really know too much about it. So, uh, yeesh. Mountain Dew Dog first fist fight. Um, I've never been in like a fist fight on the street or anything. I've gotten into a couple scraps in hockey, but I don't really count that because I mean that's part of the sport, um, and you know that comes with the territory. But yeah, I will update you as soon as I get in my first fist fight, which hopefully uh, will be never because I don't want to fight someone. That seems awful. Okay. Uh, talk about Hunter Moore. I don't know who that is. Maybe that makes me stupid. Is someone in current events? I have no idea. Um, Czar to the Z, the Leet. The new YouTube layout. Uh, the new YouTube layout sucks. It's just every time they get, they make it more and more convoluted and ridiculous, and uh, it's only a matter of time until they change it again, and I just don't like the front page anymore. But, you know, everybody hates change initially, and I usually don't even go to the front page. I kind of just do my own thing in my little tiny corner of YouTube, so... Not a huge impact, but of course I have to bitch and moan about it a little bit because otherwise I would be, uh, I wouldn't be a contrarian, and I have to be a contrarian because I'm petty. All right, sheep rape. Talk about souls. Um, I don't think that souls exist. You know, it's it's just like ghosts or you know warlocks or Australians. You know, you don't, there's no reason to believe in them until you have sufficient evidence beforehand. You know. Uh, I, I mean, what, what does it do? What is the what is the job of the soul, you know? What's the point of it if, as soon as you die, it just leaves anyway? Like, what did it what did it function as here on Earth? Is it all of your personality traits, all of your character, all your foibles and mistakes and achievements all wrapped into one kind of weird amorphous thing in you? That doesn't really make any sense. And people say, oh, well, it's not physical, and yeah, it's just all those things. I like, get your character and your personality. Well, if that's the case, 
then why is it possible to completely change someone's personality and in fact negate and just completely nullify someone's personality just by you know messing in their head a little bit and taking out certain sections of their brain that would lead me to believe that you know the soul doesn't really have anything to do with it but you know when you argue about things like a soul you can't even argue it's like the person who believes in the soul is going to believe in it, and they're going to constantly be like, well, no, that doesn't make sense because uh, actually the soul, you can't even measure it or find it, and it has no impact in daily life or anything but spiritual life. And then at that point, it's like, all right, well, we can't even talk anymore. We may as well be debating the average height of a leprechaun because none, none of us have any experience, and we don't know, and it's all speculation. Uh, yeesh. Sexy username 94, more school stories. Um... I told the school story, I'm not sure when this video is going to get uploaded, but I told the school story uh, that's uploading, I think, on Tuesday, and so go watch that one. There you go. Uh, Patty Scullion, Green Bananas. Uh, I, I, I mean, green bananas are fine, they're A-OK -okay with me, because they're going to be yellow bananas soon, and yellow bananas are, you know, ripe for the eating, and uh, I think it's a good thing. Better a green banana than a brown banana, uh, as Confucius said. Um... Desang Briel, VGA winners. Uh, I did not watch the Video Game Awards, uh, so I don't even know who won. I have no idea. Uh, maybe it was Call of Duty. Who knows? Uh, but no matter who won, I think that they, the judges were idiots and stupid and didn't take everything into account, and that they were grossly irresponsible and just exhibited a patent lack of knowledge about video games. So that's my opinion, uh, and I haven't seen it. Okay. XBL Jack. Um, opinion on December 21st. Uh, I think it's a great date, um, you know, it's a couple days before Christmas, so you got that anticipation, you're excited about it, uh, it's also gonna be the end of the world, which is like a damper a little bit, but that's okay, but, uh, yeah. Hopefully we'll all be here December 22nd. YouTube, Cole L, Explosions, uh, you know, I think explosions are cool, as long as they're not, like, you know, in a children's wing of a hospital, or an abortion clinic, or things like that, you know, if as long, if, like, an explosion in... I don't know, in a pool is really cool, especially if it was like Bill O'Reilly's pool, you just completely ruin his pool, and then he walks out and he's like, oh shit man, you ruined my pool, and then I'd be like, go oh, fuck yourself Bill O'Reilly, and then he'd be like, dude, I'm totally gonna go and buy a new pool, because I'm rich as shit, I'm Bill O'Reilly, and then I'd be like, damn it, he's right, and that would be the end of that. Man, even in my fantasy, I didn't even get to be satisfied in the end. Damn it. Okay. Anywho, that's the end of this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a rating. If you didn't, don't leave a rating. Uh, instead, leave a favorite. And that's the end. Love you.